What the fuck is up, guys? Homie Casual here, Hood Diner Podcast. DJ Century over here cleaning some shit up. We about to cook some shit. We, I don't know, you know, there's been a couple times where we've actually cooked what we're having on something new. But today on something new, it was my week. And I saw this shit the other day at Walmart. It's Cheetos Mac and Cheese Bold and Cheesy. Mm, I'm with that. So Century's getting ready to put the shit on the pot. And uh, we got to put some margarine in it and some milk and all that shit. And then the other part of today is got a little bit of Rick and Morty action over here. Found all them Pringles that finally came out. We talked about these fucking months ago when they first were announced and they finally made it to Tucson. So yeah, we're about to do some, some Pringles and shit. But yeah, we're about to get everything going. We'll give you a little juicy bit of B-roll while he's cooking. And yeah, we'll give it to you guys in a second. What's up, guys? It's the only casual hood diner podcast. Back, we finally cooked this shit. The shit looks bomb. Let me see. Is it bomb? Shit? Okay. So I can see it. Century's been getting down over there and shit. We we're, we're I had a couple of already. Okay. So, um, yeah. so what do we have here today? Okay, so it was my week, and this week, or actually, I found the shit last week, so that I could. Um, Switch the screen so I can see what I'm doing here. So I can frame myself. Went to Walmart, saw the fucking Pringles. So I had to grab those. I grabbed enough so that me and him can like have a stack to save and shit. Cause you never know. These might become like collector's items and shit like that. Dude, like I fuck with Rick and Morty like that. So yeah, we had to save a set, right? I almost, I, I, we've already finished the ones that we have at the house and I can't throw away the things. Like I almost want to do something with them. I don't know why. That's just some hoarder ass shit. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't, you don't or do find a Funko Pop and stack it on top of there on your desk. There you go. Like a fucking Rick and Morty, right? On the shelf, you know? So yeah, so we got the Rick and Morty chips, which we're fucking... Or actually, we haven't even opened them up. What am I talking about? I've had them, but since we haven't had them, so I'm going to go ahead and open these bitches up. Okay. First flavor is this Mr. Meeseeds. It says Rick and Morty Special Edition. Look at me. I'm cheddar and sour cream. Cheddar and sour cream, look at me. Yeah. Oh man. I thought they motherfucker were recording. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna try to move this up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's probably the cheddar cheese that they've always had, they just put Mr. Meeseeks on it and shit, right? Yeah. All right. You know, there's nothing better than going to fucking Target when you're in San Diego and then going to the beach right after. Mm hmm. I'm like, you get all the junk food. And I remember Pringles was always a staple. Oh, Pringles is a must. Pringles, when we go traveling, because it's easy, it's not a big ass bag and it's not all loud. I hate that shit, like how loud a fucking bag is. Like in the nighttime, if you're trying to be sneaky, eat some shit, I can't, I can't make no fucking Pringles noise. <laughs> I mean, I can't use like, bring smack Pringles up too, so I'm like, I the fuck in the corner. <laughs> it's like a fucking bear in the fucking getting your trash and shit. Okay. 
So the next flavor is the um, pickle rick. Pickle rick. Okay, let me make sure I can see myself. Pickle rick. The lion. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a small stack right here. Here, go ahead and try these shits. I'm gonna take a break. Oh, we're good. Yeah. The mac and cheese is all right. That definitely tastes like a pickle. Right? Pause. <laughs> This is not bad though. Did you put sriracha? Not yet. I like it. It's good. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's on par with some crap shit. Okay. The last flavor. Rick and Morty Special Edition. This is a honey mustard Morty. Okay. And I, I fuck with this one. Honestly, I love that that. The pickle flavor in that one, but I really like these honey ones. They're pretty fucking bomb. So you're saying you like the pickle flavor? Ha ha ha! Mmm. Mmm. Those ones are pretty damn good, right? I think they're fucking bomb. Pickle Rick is pretty fire too. My sister's uh, uh, in labor right now. She's having her second baby, Oliver. Really? No shit. Yeah. That's awesome. It just sucks because we can't go to the fucking hospital. You know? mm. I literally was about to say, like, well, what are you doing here? Yeah. That's kind of the new rules now, you know? It's bullshit. Blam. Mm. Bullet. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's all good. You gotta stack them like they said in the commercial. Let go, guys. Cheeto. All right, bro. So what do you think, man? What's the verdict for this shit? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Honey mushroom? All three of them together. That's Get the fuck out of town, yeah. Why the fuck didn't I do that? It's pretty fucking interesting. Mm-hmm. I like where your mind is. They say like the, the, the commercial. I remember, I just didn't think about that. That's fucking great. I wonder if you assemble them differently, it'll probably taste different too because different ones hit the palate at different times. Mm-hmm. That's some scientific shit. Mm. I need to take the cuckoo clock. took the cuckoo clock. Why? It was bananas. Oh, really? I come in one day, I'm like, <laughs> I felt like fucking, fell to the ground. <laughs> that sucks, man. What's it mind to claim? Got mm. the house, you know? Man, but it was, it was, in, it was in the house. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you this. These are four because they're just run of the mill. Okay. But but the pickle rick and the, and the honey mustard morty, I give those a five because they're very unique in taste. Mm -hmm. And when you combine them all, like Voltron, that's that's the, that's where it's at right there. Right. And then the, the macaroni is good. Does it taste like a Cheeto? No. No. And it's not that I didn't cook it right. You saw. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Made, you know, the know. noodles are all dente. No, I mean. Dude, I mean, that's basically, look, this is what they tell you how to make it. They didn't say add some extra garlic and some pepper. I mean, you can if you wanted to, but, you know, for straight out the box, this is this is good. Yeah. This is good. I'll give it a four. 
I think the four is fair. I'm, I'm 100. Oh, yeah, let me get a little bit of that. good bro sriracha will take a fucking ramen a cup of ramen to the next level yeah well i'm i, I go in i go back and forth between sriracha and salsa with chole and lime with chole and lime is fucking oh that's some sinaloa shit right there bro it's so good sinaloa shorty mm. Mm. Me up on the bowl yeah, no, this shit took a this shit took the shit to a whole nother level. The sriracha, yeah. Yeah, guys, we thank you guys for tuning in. We thank you guys for being Patreons. We love every single one of you. Um, we got something really cool coming for the December box. So the guy, everybody that's got a what you gonna call it, uh, the lunch box package. December's fucking box is gonna be super sick. Okay, spread the word. As we get closer, I'm going to fucking probably put out like a teaser of what it is. Because, you know, obviously that's going to possibly build more fucking, you know. Look at you. You just blocked yourself out. Oh, is that where it's at? Yeah, no. I'm, I'm recording with both of them today. Oh, shit. We're going to do some next level shit. Hold up. Regardless, man, we thank you guys for being Patreon members. We really appreciate you. Hopefully you're safe. Hopefully these elections haven't worn you out and fucking killed your fucking spirit. Hey, at the end of the day, whether you're an anti-Trumper or a pro-Trumper, we still got to fucking wake up and fucking put our shoes on and go to fucking work. It's not like anything's like, yeah, however you feel about it, either candidate, I, I, I respect that. But we are fucking Americans at the end of the day. Amen. You know, we did our civic duty. Now... If every electoral college votes the way they're supposed to, then the system worked. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything else to say about that. Okay. I just want to get back to work, bro. Period. Yeah, man. I want to get back to doing regular shit. Regular everyday shit. Oh, yeah, can get some of but yeah, man. We thank you guys for being Patreon members again. Really do appreciate you. And uh, make sure you guys tune in to episode 108, which we are going to film, or which we are going to record right after this. And uh, yeah, man. We will see you guys in the next video, okay? Hope you guys like this double footage shit that I'm trying to do today and shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to start picking up the production for you guys. That's the next you know level what I'm shit. Huh? That's the next level shit. Right? I mean, having double angles. How's that mic though going to pick up my voice? Is that's going to be clean. Yeah. It's going to be clean. This one's got mics on front, and then this one's got mics front and the back too. Nice. That's the one thing I really love about both of these, bro. I'm telling you. I bought that one a while ago, and then when I had an opportunity to get those, this one at a good price, I was like, they're good. They're good. But guys, we will see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace out. Peace.